so I'm about to prepare Thursday night dinner, which is going to be corn on the cob, carrots, and steak. And the stuff in the background, um, I'm going to do some cupcakes, and that video will probably be uploaded before this one. So anyway, um, I'm using chuck steak, and this is going to be like the easiest chuck steak ever. It's going to be similar to the way I did the baked chicken, except for this. Um, it's just gonna cook a little longer. But other than that, it's pretty easy. Um, you don't have to make your own gravy or make its own little broth or whatever, so very easy. I'm gonna do carrots and corn. I don't know if I'm gonna show all of this. I might, but yeah. Onion, seasoning, salt, and like I said, don't mind the stuff over there. I'm trying to do like a bunch of stuff right now. So I'm trying to bake and then I'm gonna cook this. So, um, I'm going to wash my hands, as always, and then I'll get started. I'm just going to take some seasoning salt. And this is the one that I mainly use, the adobo with pepper. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle that on. Not too much, but enough so that it has some flavor and it's not bland, because bland food is disgusting. Um, so anyway, I'm going to add the garlic powder, same thing, just enough, and then as usual, I'm just going to pound it down so that, you know, it won't fall off when, when I turn it over. So I'm going to turn this over, season. And garlic powder, pound it down, wash my hands and I'll be right back. And this is actually going to be a very easy version. Um, it's how I used to see my mother do it or whatever. So this version, I don't have to sear it, like, you know, fry it on the, the stove or anything. Um, this is going to be a really simple version. It'll make its own broth. So that's good so let me wash my hands and I'll be so now that I have the steak seasoned um, I'm just going to place it in my pan and I'm going to add some water so like I would say I'm going to add some water now unlike the chicken um, I actually add a little more water um, I always do about two cups of water so that's what I'm gonna do I know she did one cup I do two cups and so I'm just going to pour that in there and I've already cut up the onions so I'm going to add this by the way I won't be leaving the onions and the broth today um, I just want the onion flavor so once this is done I'll just strain um, the onions out and I'll show that and that's it um, I'm all done so that's uh, what it looks like so let me wrap this up tightly so I'm going to wrap this up tightly and I'm going to have to use another piece This did come with a top, too. but no, I'll use the foil. Okay, now I like my steak very well done. However, I like it to be tender, which I know it will be. So I like to cook it uh, for a long period of time. Like I said, I like my steak well done. Okay, so 325 degree preheated oven, two hours. After um, the two hours, then I'll take it out. Actually, no, I'm sorry. 325 preheated oven, two hours and 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I have like five different things going on. So after two hours and 30 minutes, 
I repeat, two hours, 325 degree preheated oven, preheated oven see? <laughs> After the two hours and 30 minutes is up, I will take the foil off and put it back in the oven an additional 15 minutes. And I'll show everything. Okay, so like I said, 325 degree preheated oven, two hours and 30 minutes. After two hours and 30 minutes, remove the foil and cook an additional 15 minutes. And like I said, I like my steak well done. Okay, so I'll be back when it's all done. And like I said, I might show the corn and the carrots. I don't know. Um, I'll maybe show bits and pieces of it or the whole thing. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'll be back when everything's done. So for the carrots, um, as you can see, I have water boiling, and I'm just going to put them in. And, um, I'm just going to let them boil for about five minutes, and then I'll be back and show what I do next. Now that they've been boiling for five minutes, I'm going to strain them and then add a little bit of um, butter or margarine and seasonings okay so i'm going to drain them now I'm, hold on let me see if i can okay i'm going to add some butter and brown some brown sugar it up and you can cook these um longer if you want but i don't like my vegetables to be soft i like them to have to be a little bit have some crunch to them and i'm just gonna mix that around and i added about a tablespoon of each and now i'm gonna start with my corn so i just added some parsley flakes for decoration Now, sorry about the lighting. It's not good over here. Um, so before I bring it to a boil, I'm just adding a couple tablespoons. Well, before it comes to a boil, a couple tablespoons of sugar. And I'm not gonna add any salt until after it's done cooking. So now that I've got the water to a good boil, I'm just going to add the corn. So now that I've added the corn to the boiling water, I'm going to simmer this for 15 minutes. And like I said, I'll add my salt after. So I drain all the water. As you can see, I have some butter and then I'm going to take some salt. mix it around so I just took it out and like I said I'm going to put it back in uncovered for um, an additional 15 minutes okay so I just took it out and like I said I'm actually going to rid the broth of the onions so um, give me a minute I'll be back. 
So there I have the onions in the strainer and there's the broth um, inside of the bowl. I'm going to pour the broth back into the pan. So there's my steak um, well done. I had it on the cutting board so I'm about to return it to the pan and add the broth. So now, like I said, I'm just going to take the, um, here's the broth, and just pour it right back in. And then more onions, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so that's it. Really simple, easy way to make steak if you don't want to do all the extra stuff, like frying it or whatever. Just put it in a pan, season it, throw some onions in, and that's it. Alright, stay tuned for the up-and-coming tutorial. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so, so it's all done. I did the corn, the carrots, the um, rice. I already have a tutorial for rice and the steak. And I have broth over the rice. All right, so that's it. I will talk to you later and I will put an upcoming tutorial video up at the end as usual. Bye.